right here. Blackstone Planet Strike. Um, we should be finishing this today. I don't remember how many levels we did yesterday. I think we were on level 17. Which took us like two and a half hours. It's been a smooth ride. No complaints. It's a good game. Really good uh, palette, cl palette cleanser after the capstone software bullshit. Um, but yeah, we're we're going to be back to Bleakstone. We should finish it in like one hour, one hour and a half. And Abby is in chat having a giggle at capstone bullshit. That's fine. <laughs> gotta gotta laugh at it. I suppose it was really crappy. But yeah, once we're finished with this, we should be able to move on to the second to last game. Which is gonna be Super Nova's Ark 3D. Sometimes referred to as Super 3D Nova's Ark, depending on who you ask. Uh, because it was not a licensed game, so there's no, not really a standard, but not gonna get ahead of myself here. Still have this game to finish, so let me... Let me move over to the main scene down over here timer seems to be correct everything seems to be in order game 14 of 16 of the wolf 3d engine retrospective i realized that yesterday my capture was slightly broken and we had like a white line at the top which i didn't see because my preview is not high resolution enough for me to see that so i worked on that i think i have it fixed now there we go. It seems cleaner today. Like I've mentioned yesterday, we moved on to 86 box, which is a fork of PCM because we seem to be getting more accurate um, emulation of these old systems old games let's get this started start the timer before i forget which i usually do apogee means action which is a downgrade from the pinnacle of software entertainment but we'll manage can't always be at the top i guess Ah, uh, yes, uh, just one thing that I forgot, which is that, there we go, just so it looks a bit better. Um, yeah, level 17, so it should be like four levels to finish. Right. If you weren't here yesterday, the goal is to find the fusion detonator, bring it to the security cube, which would allow us to go back into this, and then we can move on to the next level. Oh, he's not dead. When he makes that sound, he's still alive. But yeah, the game is pretty straightforward, not very different from the from the first Bleak Stone game. Overall, it's. Uh, very good experience. I have no complaints. They have more enemy variety, even though most of the new enemies are just like weaker versions of bosses from the first game. That's a perfectly Acceptable way of having more enemy variety. It also has auto saving. Let me 
put down a save for today. As quick saving, I should say. Only the capstone software games had auto saving. Because they were a lot more advanced. Here is a blue access card, so... Good thing that we found it before we found the door, that's... They're giving us a lot of weapons today. Yeah, so advanced. Actually, the quick save and quick load on the Capstone software games was very impressive. Because even though this game has quick save and quick load, like, quick saving is like this. It confirms, and it does a save. On the Capstone software games, it was instant, both saving and loading. I was actually impressed with that. Of course, it didn't, like, make up for everything else. Why are they giving us all the weapons right now? This isn't even supposed to be a boss level. I don't think. Yeah, but the level is... Like, the only like downgrade I have with this game compared to the previous Plague Stone is that you don't have... Uh, you can look at the entire map. Uh, it's only that small part of the map at a time. Because before we didn't have the map all the time on the screen, you had to press tab. Now we don't have that, unfortunately. Anyway, it's a it's a reasonable fun game. So good to have textures on the ground and ceiling without having to pay for it with the worst performance of all time. Like, it's it's quite surprising to look at this. The, even the original Blakestone that came before Doom had. And then play something like uh, Operation Body Count and have the textures be all broken and take all of your your performance away. Hello there, Captain Clever. Alright, full maps only on the select level now. Yeah. Which does make finding things a little bit harder sometimes, but... We have been able to find our way just fine to the previous... Oh, you... Yep. On the previous 16 level, so it's... It's okay, it's reasonable. I'm trying to savor this as well, because I know that uh, Super Noah's Ark 3D is not going to be as bad as the Capstone software games, because it's basically Office Time 3D, just a bit not feeling too well, I guess, but, uh, but it's going to be bland as all hell. And one of the reasons I could stomach uh, Corridor 7 easily was because it wasn't planned, at least. I think it's possible it might even be more bland than uh, Operation Body Count. And that game was like... Generic headquarters. You want to savor it fully? You should backtrack for the secret maps. I don't want to savor it that much. <laughs> Still wishing that these games actually made use of backtracking. I think the best games for backtracking in this entire retrospective were Catacomb 3D and Catacomb... Which was it? Apocalypse. Those two had backtracking, they had a hub, they... Oh, and the Catacomb. The Catacomb was amazing. 
Like I was, I, 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 I added those games for like historical purposes to this retrospective and I was so pleased with how they played, how fun they were. And it was really a delight to play the, uh, Catacomb 3D after playing the Catacomb because you can see it's supposed to be the same game, just more of it. There's like one level, I can't remember with a switch that affects another level, so the possibility is there. Possibility used to be there for a lot of these games, they just didn't use it. I remember a lot that was one of the big uh, feature bullet points for Quake 2. How uh, you could finish a level and it would affect the next level and stuff like that. But it has been a thing, just that... I guess they figured people wouldn't notice, so they didn't bother too much with it. Which is a shame. I think the second level on Quake 2... You, you, you can, like, the position of the elevator or something depends on... Turning a switch on the previous level. Can also run into issues that people have with Hex and yeah, yeah Hex and like by the time you get to the fourth hub, you're already sick and tired of it a little bit. From what I've heard, people complaining. I haven't actually played Hex and it looks awesome, but it's it's probably a bit tiring. I do want to play it someday. I did play it as a kid. Uh, it's a good thing I was looking at the map because I did not see that dude there. I did play the Nintendo 64 version of Hexen as a kid at a cousin's place that they, they had a 64. I really liked it. One third of the puzzle has been solved on the seven portals. I really gotta do is get into the groove for how they do their puzzles. A lot of these games are like that, which I can appreciate. Like once you get... We killed everyone. Didn't even notice we were that... That advanced in this level. So I just have to find the... Fusion whatever. But a lot of these games are just about getting to the groove, getting to how the game's supposed to function. Oh, I did get it, I didn't even notice. Okay, next level. Like, Wolfenstein 3D, it, it's, it starts a bit weird, a bit slow, I guess, a bit boring. Almost, kind of, depending on how you look at it. Once you get into the proper speed for the game, you realize how you how fast you can play it. How you can manipulate enemies. It, it, it becomes a lot of fun. Like most good games from this time required you to put in the time to... Fully... Get into them. And then mobile gaming happened. And we had to keep hearing people from marketing talking about like, Oh no, you have to worry about the first five minutes if you don't hook the player in the first five minutes, you lose him. So we have to front load all of the game in the first five minutes. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Mouse is the way to go, it is. I never played these games with a, with a mouse before this retrospective. Like, I haven't played many of these. I've never even played Doom with a mouse. A vertical mouse movement. Yeah, it's very strange at first, but you get used to it and it can really help. Well, the first time I played Doom... ...was, was with a... SNES controller. 
And it was awesome. I didn't know any better. I was just thinking, oh, everyone talks about Doom. Everyone says it's good. I can finally play it. Came in a red, bright red cartridge. I rented it. <laughs> and it was, it was very fun. It's through the eyes of a child that doesn't know any better. It was the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> you had it too? You still have your red cart? I don't have any. The only, the only, the only CNES cartridge I have that I'm proud of. I was gonna show it, but I can't reach it. Short people problems. Uh, I still have like because I sold my SNES back then because I I had to. Uh, but it kept like a few cartridges, and I still have like the very black cartridge of Killer Instinct. I played so much of that. Shit, we almost died from that. Dude's right here. Just takes one shot and you're nearly dead. What bullshit. You also had PC Doom, right? So SNES Doom probably didn't feel as good. I almost beat Doom on the SNES, I think, during that weekend. When I had it rented. At least I remember levels that I think are from episode 3. Nowadays, Doom and Doom 2 are games that I clearly know everything about the first level and uh, don't remember much beyond that. Yeah, we had no... Ah, it exploded the ammo next to us. You piece. Kapow. Yeah, we had like 100% health. That guy looked at us funny and we lost all of it. Okay. Where were we? This was the cube? Okay. And this was the... No, not here. Next one. Okay, here. Can we? Can we? No, it wasn't here. Okay. I'm paranoid now. Okay, it was here then. Yeah, and he still do does that thing. Come on, dude. Ain't got all day. One of the things you have to appreciate between uh, the Wolf City engine and, and the Dome engine is how they do pixel scaling. Because this is like nearest pixel at a very low resolution. So it, uh, it is limited. You, you you get used to it and you don't see it anymore, but it is very limited. And on Doom, I don't remember exactly how it looks, but I know it looks a lot better. And they're, they're not doing billionaire filtering. That's too expensive to do in software. So they did uh, one of the many things. They really got, the, got it right. I see there's a secret passage there. Passage there. To check over here first to see what's... Well, there's this to link up here. Don't forget the enemy visibility feature on two times magnification. Yeah, it was useful a couple of times. You should use it more before going to doors. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. No, we don't have to use the key. We don't have to do anything else. Just go back the way we came. I, 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 this is like such a, a good thing to do in these games. Like on the original Bleak Stone, you would get the red key and just leave. It's fun, you feel like you're cheating the game. It's always good when a game makes you, you feel like you're breaking the rules. In such a hurry to play Supernova. Uh, no, no, not not really. No, I mean, damn, you got me. I really, really want to play that game. How did you know? I just, I just, I just want to. Uh, Spend like five, ten minutes talking about uh, Hellraiser. If if you if you know how Super 3D was Ark and Hellraiser related, then you know what I'm talking about. I just think it's funny. I want to talk about it a little bit. It's the most unique setting. Yeah, there's never been any. Any games or movies based on the Nova's Ark or any Bible stories? No, sir. I saw reviews saying that it makes no sense to shoot the animals instead of capturing them. Like, like how, how is that the thing you're, you decide to criticize on that game? <laughs> of all the things you could... <laughs> That's what you get hung up on. Oh, we hadn't seen a dining hall in this game, at least for a while. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, you... Oh, they changed that from the previous game. I hadn't tested it. You can't shoot them when they're down. I complained so much on the first game that you couldn't. Meant more like relative to the other games in, in this retrospective. Oh well, that's that's a fair point. It definitely is very different than the previous ones. As I recall, the ammo is animal feed, correct? You're feeding them until they fall asleep. That's that's what I, I understand about that game as well. Okay, now I need my... Oh, a red key. I thought it was the... The fusion device. Okay, I just have to remember this room. While we get the explosive thing. Yeah, that, that was kind of cool. <laughs> how do I get past here? Oh, okay, that that's how. Yeah, okay, let's go. I can't wait to play Super Noah's Ark 3D, aka Super 3D Noah's Ark, because it. I, I said this at the start of the stream because it isn't licensed. They don't even have a official name. It really broke my brain when the, when I saw the thing released on Steam. Uh, I guess. It's literally like, okay, we can put this game on Steam and we can get sales just for the memes. I guess. 
Super 3D, no Ozark 3D. That's incorrect, Captain Clever. The second 3D has a dash. You have to respect the hyphen. Goldfire's Lair. The first 3D does not have a dash. The second one has. Yeah. I don't make the rules. Okay, so I'm gonna put down two saves here. On the start of the level and want to use as a quick save. Yeah, now you got it. You gotta respect the wishes of the copyright holders. How is it actually on... I think on, on Steam it is Super Nozark 3-D. Oh, it's the no alert. We already have the yellow key from a previous level, so we'll... this is a duplicate one. Possible speed tech. Yep. Because we got the key, but then we realized we didn't need it because we got the explosive. With mouse movement and people playing with like uh, with sensitivity settings, I I feel like a speed run of this of these games probably really wild to watch. Just people going zoom zoom. I'm, I keep hitting a wall. <laughs> you get the idea? Zoom. Something like that. Okay, hold on. There's a door here. There's a locked door. No, that's the key. Okay. Because there are a few locked doors here. You have the time you strafe running. Yeah, that too. Really wild. I I I already don't don't have the skills to to do a normal speed run. One of these would just be insane. I'm gonna get the other yellow key, just in case you might speed things up later. And we have to remember we have better weapons than these four bosses. Ah, uh, shit. Is there a dispenser? There are tokens that we haven't used. Half the time I don't even see the food dispensers. Uh, nope. A diagonal. Jeez, I'm... <laughs> right, because the game probably doesn't... Probably moves you faster if you're running full diagonal. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that's the health we have. Oh, no, not this one. Who even needs better weapons? That's for the super spongy difficulties. Yeah, that's... That's a fair point. Well, we beat the... Catacomb games on the highest difficulty. That's... As much as I'm willing to... Compromise. And we had a lot of bullet sponges to deal with because of that. Way more annoying with the ammo blowing up. Ah, uh, yes. I remember when I read that feature, I just said, yep, not using those weapons. Thank you for the suggestion, though. And when ammo explodes, it damages you, as I have not too long ago learned. Oh, that looks like a new thing? 
Can you show me the name? No, that's a boss, but it doesn't show me the name. Maybe I need a better gun. <laughs> Same sound as the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one of these days, I'll not react to that. But that day is not today. <laughs> Man, what, what a stupid sound to have in the game. Especially for the player death. Oh, cool. Very cool, very cool. I'm probably gonna die because I... Morphed Dr. Goldfire. Yeah, I was too distracted by how cool it looked. Is this the best weapon? Yeah. Ah, shit, he still shoots you once before morphing. Okay, that's... That's weapon that takes ammo. That's a final boss. I don't think we have ever seen an enemy shoot that much. Like, area shots like that. Ah, uh, yes, that destroyed all the ammo that I was going to pick up as well. Can I avoid this somehow? Okay, this weapon is not doing me any favors. Because you have to stay still, because it's not a hit scan. I'm gonna stick with this weapon. I think it's gonna be better, actually. Shit. Ah, shit. Try something different. This open room is not doing me any favors. Right, I can't hide behind the pillar like this. I uh, just need some ammo. Is he? He's right there. <laughs> okay. Great work, Blake. You've destroyed Dr. Goldfire. Alright, cool animation. Nice pixel art. Probably digitized from a drawing. Well done, Agent Stone. Against almost unsurmountable odds you have stopped Goldfire once and for all. Never again will the universe be threatened and terrorized by this evil madman. Well, of course, no, there are no sequels. A dark shroud has been lifted from the planet of Salon, and the people there are forever grateful. And that's the only page we have. Three and a half million? We got a higher mission ratio than on, on the original Bleachstone. And that's it. End timer. <laughs>